how to use Binance Savings. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Binance Savings flexible and locked. There is a difference between the two. With savings, you do get paid out daily. With locked, you get paid after the entire lock period has been completed. Also, there are some investment minimums. That number might be one, 0.1, 0 0.01, depending on the coin. You can check that out in the Binance app before you get started. But in most cases, you need less than 10 USDT to get started savings. In some cases, 0 0.1 USDT. And before we jump into the rest of the video, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button. If you don't already have the Binance app, there is a link to it in the description. So from the Binance app, we hit savings. And now you have two options. From the top here, there's flexible and locked. We're gonna to go to flexible, and these are the interest rates available for these coins. It is going to be a very specific amount, and that is gonna be different from the locked savings. Locked savings has a different variety of coins that are available. Now with flexible, you earn interest immediately. Interest is paid out daily, and you can take those coins out whenever you like. And with lock savings, technically you can actually take your coins out and move them to flexible. So let's say I'm subscribed to a seven day BUSD plan and at day six, I'm like, oh no, I need this money right away. I can move that to flexible and then I can withdraw it immediately. Now, if I do not complete the full seven days, no interest is paid out and that time was completely wasted. So if you need your funds to always be available, I recommend using the flexible savings plan. How does auto subscribe work for Binance Savings? So Binance Savings has this auto subscribe feature and if you click the information button next to it, it says every day at two UTC plus zero, we will use the available balance of all spot accounts to purchase flexible deposits. So let's say you have TKO, BTC and BUSD. If you are auto subscribed to each of these, if you have any of these coins in your spot accounts, those coins will be moved from your spot account to your flexible savings account. With locked savings, you also have something similar to auto subscribe. So if we look at link here, there is a feature to automatically renew with flexible savings. So that means if we subscribe for the 90 days, at the end of the 90 days, it's gonna take our principal and the interest we earned and redeposit that into another 90 day locked period of time. So we'll continue to make interest and compound interest with our investment over time. How to sign up for Binance Savings. So from the app, you're gonna see this savings icon and that will bring you to the flexible page. That's where it defaults to. And there's also the locked page. Now, if you don't have the savings icon in your app, you go to more over here and then you scroll down to finance and savings should be right there. So with the flexible savings account, we'll gain interest daily on whatever coin we have deposited with them. So with uh, BUSD, we'll earn an annual interest rate of 2.19%. We have 100 BUSD. A year later, we'll have 102.19 BUSD. Now these rates do fluctuate. They can change from day to day, but generally this kind of gives you the expectation of what you can have today. Now let's sign up for the BUSD flexible savings plan. We're going to subscribe here. As you can see, I have 100 BUSD available and then I can deposit as much BUSD as I like. So I'm gonna do the maximum amounts. I have read and agreed to the Binance service agreement. It's actually pretty short. You should read that because anytime you uh, put money into the savings plan and take it out, you will be prompted with this link and it's not too much to read. So I have read that, confirm purchase, and now I am subscribed to the Binance Flexible Savings Plan. How to withdraw funds from your Binance Flexible Savings account. So from the app, we go to wallets, and then at the top here, you should be able to see overview, spot, margin, futures, P2P, and earn. We want to go to the earn tab. Then if we scroll down, we will see that we have 100 BUSD in flexible savings. We select that. And then we have the option to redeem or stake. Stake just means we have the option to add more funds to this flexible savings plan. Redeem means we can withdraw any amount of funds that we have available from the savings plan. So I'm going to hit redeem and then I'm gonna select max and we have the option for fast redemption or standard redemption. I think in most people's cases, we uh, you can just use 
fast redemption unless you want to withdraw a billion dollars. So let's go with fast redemption. And I have read and agreed to the Binance service agreement. Confirm redemption. And if we go to our spot wallet and scroll down to BUSD, we can see that the funds are now available in our account for trading, withdrawal, or whatever we want to do with it. How to use Binance locked savings. So we go to savings and then we go to locked at the top here and we have these available coins. So I want to lock up my BUSD for seven days, but I can't. So if we have the subscribe button grayed out here, it's not available for the seven day plan. We have the 14 day available, we have the 30 day unavailable and 90 day unavailable. So we can see that each amount of days has a different interest rate and 14 days is what's available with BUSD at the moment. This will change from time to time so you will have to check back and see if the uh, locked savings plan you want to get into is available. Since the seven day plan isn't available for BUSD, let's do that for USDC. They're both stable coins and they both have a similar amount of interest. Actually, BUSD is more generous overall. But for this example, we're gonna do USDC. I'm gonna subscribe to that for seven days. And the savings plans are locked into lots which means you have to put an incremental amount of USDC. So each lot is 100 USDC. You have to put 100 USD chunks of money into the locked savings plan. So you can do 100, 200, 300. You can't do 150, 118. You can't do $10. You have to deposit USDC in $100 increments. Now for myself, I have about 100 USDC available. And as you can see, available lots, one lot, I can buy one. So I'm gonna hit max. And the total cost will be 100 USDC. And the expected interest rate I will earn at the end of these seven days is gonna be eight cents. Overall, eight cents is not a lot of money, but the more time and money you do put into investing in an interest account, the more you'll get back. So I have read and agreed to the Binance service agreement, confirm purchase, and now I am subscribed to the seven day USDC locked savings plan on Binance. So if we go to our Binance wallet down here at the bottom right and we go to earn, we can see that our USDC fixed savings plan is now available in our wallet. We have 100 USDC and we are earning an interest rate of 4.25%. Now, I do have auto renew set up, so at the end of the seven days, my USDC is automatically going to subscribe to another seven days. I can enable that or disable that. I'm going to disable that for now. And I also have the option to transfer to flexible. That means I can transfer my fixed savings account of 100 USDC to the Binance flexible savings account. Since this is a seven day plan, if I do not complete the seven days, I don't get any interest. You forfeit that completely. But if you need the money, you can transfer it out whenever you like. It does differ from product to product, so you have to make sure a flexible plan is also available with the locked plan. You can withdraw your locked savings into a flexible account, and this is how you do it. So I'm going to select transfer to flexible, I have a one lot available, I'm gonna hit max. I have read and agreed to the Binance service agreement and the transfer has been completed. So if I go to my wallet, I now have 100 USDC in my flexible savings account. Now, even though I spent time in the locked savings plan, I am not earning any interest for that because I did not stay there for the complete seven days. If you stay for one day, six and a half days, three days, you don't earn any interest if you do not complete the full seven days. And that's how you earn passive income with the Binance savings plan. If that was helpful, you can help this video out by hitting that like button right over there. If you don't already have the Binance app, the link is in the description. And thanks for watching this Binance video.